finding the coordinates of a point reflected across an axis. So give the coordinates of the point obtained from each reflection. So I'm going to reflect the point 7, negative 5 across the y-axis, okay? So first of all, I'm going to plot my original point, 7, negative 5. So 7 over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 5 down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, okay? So that's my original point, okay? That one. Um, now I'm going to do the reflections. Um, so across the y-axis first, okay, this is my y-axis right here. I'm going to kind of go over it in purple. That's my y-axis. Now if you'll notice, okay, right now, I am 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, right? My first coordinate is 7, 7 units to the right of this axis. So when we do this reflection, we're going to flip it, right? And instead of being 7 to the units to the right, it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 units to the left. So if we're flipping over the y-axis, right, the point that started here is going to flip, right, over to the left side, exactly opposite of where it was, okay? So the coordinates after this reflection will be negative 7, negative 5. Okay, so right here, I would fill in the coordinates negative 7, negative 5. And I just noticed this 5 right here needs a negative, okay? Okay, so now we're going to reflect it across the x-axis. So this time, we're reflecting up and down, right, across this horizontal x-axis. So this time, my point is going to reflect from the bottom and flip, right, up to the top. So right now, okay, my point is 5 units below, right, or 5 units down. So when I flip it, it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 units above. So my new point will be right here. Okay, the 7 hasn't changed. It's just now instead of negative 5, I'm positive 5. So this will be 7 positive 5 right there. Okay, this one went from 7 units to the right, or positive 7, to negative 7, 7 units to the left. Okay, so those are my two answers after the reflections.